Nah. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That's more like it. Threads in town. That's the No Frills Boutique, Uptown Hope Falls. It costs big bucks to dress like a million dollars. Now to the news. Our top story, respected town benefactor Ulysses Pitt has once again assured visiting environmental officials that the output of the Pitt nuclear power plant is well within safety limits and that there have been no adverse effects on Hope Falls and the surrounding area. We caught up with Mr. Pitt outside the Montezuma Casino earlier today. Mr. Pitt, Mr. Pitt, can you comment on the environmental impact report filed by the regulatory commission? Yeah, I can comment on it. It's a load of bull****, that's what it is. Nuclear power is the future. And I got nothing but the best interests of Hope Falls in mind. If them Washington air can't see that I'm just a philanthropist who likes to spread his wealth for the betterment of the people, f them. Mr. Ulysses Pitt, Hope Falls and the Pitt News Service stand with Mr. Pitt in his continued efforts for the improvement of Hope Falls. And now, back to our musical programming. This is PNS. Well, hello there. Look who finally decided to wake up. That won't do at all. Oh, don't be a baby. This is nothing compared to everything else you've been through tonight. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, well, it wasn't so hot from where I was sitting. Who the hell are you? Steiner. Dr. Frederick Steiner. But you already knew that, didn't you? I can't say I've had the pleasure. Uh, Doc? If it ain't too much trouble? Too much? Oh, right. I suppose it couldn't hurt to let you stand up. But please, take it slowly. Your equilibrium isn't what it used to be, is it? Afraid I wouldn't know. Whoa, now. I said take it slowly. You've been through quite a lot. So, you don't remember anything? Nope. Tell you the truth, Doc, my brain feels like I've been on a two-week bender. Everything's kind of hazy. Not terribly surprising, really. Fairly common side effects. What with you being dead and all. Uh, just a damn minute, Doc. Just, just, just stop. Stop. What do you mean, dead? Let me put it to you as simply as I can. Your name is Fred. You are, or were, well, are, a private investigator. You are, or were, investigating my boss, a former boss, one Mr. Ulysses S. Pitt. Pitt? That rings a bell. Yes, not surprising. He runs the whole town of Hope Falls these days. Well, Mr. Pitt found out that you were snooping around and thought you were getting too close. So he set you up and had you killed. And where exactly do you fit into this grim picture? I was hired by Mr. Pitt to help bring his nuclear power plant online. Had I known that he was going to cut so many corners to do what he's done to the people and creatures of this town. Anyway, I was on my way back here to the lab this evening when I found your body lying in the sludge dump behind the power plant. I brought you back here because I thought perhaps I could help. I guess I do owe you one. Whatever they did to me, you put me back in one piece again. Yes, well, mostly. Mostly? What's that supposed to mean? There's the small matter of your head. My head? What about my head? Um, well, uh, perhaps you should take a look for yourself. What the fuck? What have you done to me? Please, please, let me explain. You've got about two seconds before I rip off your head and make us identical twins. Now where is my friggin' head? Gone! They 
It's Pitt. He wanted it as a trophy. He does that to his enemies. He sent it to me, and I had to do what he said. But your brain, I saved your brain, and your body is almost as good as it ever was. Better in some ways. Yeah, but I'm a freak! Yes, I, I mean, no. I mean, you can still find it. Your head, I mean. It won't be easy, but Pitt has it. When you take care of him for me, you can get it back. Please, Fred, think about it. What good would it do you to kill me? Thank you. Thank you. I can be a great help to you. You won't regret it. I already do. So, what's next? Where do I start? First things first. You've had quite a day, and I want to make sure that my repairs are solid before you head out. Um, no pun intended, of course, but while we're on the subject of heads, there are also some advantages to your current cranial situation that I think you'll find quite handy. I'd like to, as they say, put you through the paces before I send you back out into the world. Now that you're alive again, relatively, I want to run a full diagnostic and make sure everything's in working order. Hmm, where to begin? Excellent. Are you ready to hit something now? Oh, you're damn right I am. Oh, yes, well, let me just, uh... There you go. Let's see what you can do. Give him what for! <laughs> Elevator. You expecting company, Doc? No. Now stay put, Fred. Stay in here and be quiet, no matter what you might hear. I'll try to get rid of whoever this is. Mr. Pitt, what a pleasure, sir. What brings you to my humble manor at such a late hour? You can save the pleasantries, Doctor. I think you might have some idea why we're here. No, sir. I can't imagine why you would... Cut the crap, Steiner. That absent-minded professor routine ain't cutting the mustard no more. Really, Lefty? Mr. Pitt? I have no idea what you mean. All right. How's about I spell it out for you? That package you were supposed to prepare for me. I just got a call from Sammy down at the taxidermy shop. He said there were some missing pieces. Well, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I see. Well, you can understand how that might upset me. You know, I, I like people to follow my orders and not do too much independent thinking. And if that ain't enough, uh, we came past the sludge dump on the way over. I was going to show Lefty here what was left of the private dick. And guess what? He wasn't there. How about that? You know anything about that? Well, nuclear waste is quite corrosive. Which is why we dump the bodies there. But ain't no body that decomposes in a day, Doctor. Maybe he was in a hurry. Mm, sorry, boss. I hate a wise ass. As do I, Lefty. As do I. I think despite his protestations to the contrary, the Doc here could enlighten us on some topics of current interest. Let's bring him along and see if we can't learn something. 
With pleasure, boss. Move it. Wait. You stay here and keep an eye on the place in case something turns up. It arrived by courier in the box. I examined it and sent it off to the taxidermist as you instructed. Uh, what about the brain and the eyes? The taxidermist just throws those away. I, I figured I'd save some time and throw them in the sludge dump. What about the body? Yeah, Egghead. What about the body? How am I supposed to know? I, I never saw the body. You only shipped me the head. Why don't you go and look in the sludge dump where you left, uh... How do you know the body was in the sludge dump? Uh, well, uh, th that's where you put all the bodies, isn't it? Uh, you said it yourself. Yeah, I suppose I'd do it that. I am a creature of habit. Mea culpa. I've told you everything I know. I'm betting I can remind him of some other things he knows. No, no. I'm prepared to give the good doctor the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Mr. Pitt. I appreciate it. Don't mention it, Doc. You've been very valuable to me and to my organization. But, alas, since the nuclear plant is online, I think your contract has reached its... Termination point. Yes, it, exactly. What? Lefty, I think it's time we introduce the doc here to the horseman. The horseman, you say? Would that be the headless horseman? Uh, the one that lives in the woods past the graveyard? Damn, doc, you ain't got a shout. Of course I mean that horseman. You know about some other horseman I don't? Now come on. Let's get this over with. Oh. 
can't see. Looks like the doc has some killer weeds in his garden here.
Great. Just super. I made it out of one nightmare and walked straight into another one. Cemetery in the backyard, note to self. Creepy. Place looks like something out of better hells and gardens. Knock, knock. I know you're in there. You shouldn't sneak up on people. It isn't very nice. Oh, look at you. You're an interesting fellow, aren't you? Just get out of Dr. Steiner's lab. And what makes you say that? Oh, my bad. Of course, I forgot. Yes, you're right. Don't worry. It doesn't bother me at all. I've seen much worse. In fact, Steiner did a good job on you. Some of the others were real freaks when he finished with them. I'm sorry, others? My name is Spade, by the way. Sam Spade. And you are? Fred. Uh, just... Fred. I think I could be of great help to you, Fred. Why don't you come back in a bit and we'll talk? I'm a little busy right now. Walk in. Okay. So I'll have to break in.
You opened the gate. What keen observational skills you have. Well, if you're intending to enter the graveyard, you should know it can be a little dangerous. You see, there are zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zombie schmombies. I met one of them. They're not that bad. There's also... her. Her? Her who? It doesn't matter. She probably won't be there anyway. Hey, Buster, you said before that that you could help me. What do you mean by that? Yes. I'm a businessman, you see. I dabble in many, many things. But I specialize in dead things. And if I'm not mistaken, you're dead. Right? That is what they say. That head apparatus of yours is... Very interesting to me. It's removable, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but I don't know much about it. No, I don't mean to brag, but... I can replace it with other heads when I want. That much I do know. Watch. Fuck. Well, now that sure as shit didn't happen before. <laughs> Got any others? Yeah, I do. See? Damn it! I was gonna use that! No, you weren't. It was worthless, just like that corpse head. I can smell a Steiner prototype a mile away. The doctor is quite the idea man, but his craftsmanship is, uh, shall we say, unreliable. I guess I'm stuck with the jar then. Oh, oh no, not at all. You see, I am an expert in the art of head reanimation. <laughs> I do wonderful work. Yes, yes, we can definitely work out a business arrangement, you and I. I can show you lots of interesting things. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You can do a lot of things with a dead head, Fred. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. I have a few things to finish up here, so I'll be around. If you encounter zombies on your little trek through the graveyard, <laughs> and you will, remove their heads. Bring me back a few, five should do the trick, and I'll modify one for your use. Deal? Sure, whatever you say. Just go away. Good. <laughs> See you later, Jarhead Gator. Be careful if you meet her. She's not exactly right in the head. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Holy shit! That's enough, Tululu. Come back here. You're bothering the man. I think he's been true enough tonight without you messing up his shoes. And just exactly what do you know about what I've been through? Oak Falls is a small place, and I have a lot of friends here. Besides, we've met you and me back when left to kill you. I was surprised that you came back, but that happens a lot these days. You know, you are so much more handsome now that you've passed over. Death becomes your detective friend. You got me at a disadvantage here, lady. Who the hell are you? My friends call me Juju Judy. You can call me anytime. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that there, Jude. If you can give me some information. Information? What? Information. All the information you need is that this is yours for the taking, dead one. Pass. Now cut the shit and tell me what I want to know. Okay. If you want to play hard to get, that's fine with me. Maybe you will use your manly strength to beat the information out of me. Hmm. That might be fun. But you will have to deal with my minions first. <laughs> Na 
nice try, Detective Fred. Now, may the best dead man win. Yikes. Maybe now would be a good time to go off. You are better than I thought. Strong and handsome. I bet you are an amazing lover. Judy, I have to tell you something. It may turn you on. So settle yourself. If I had a mouth, I'd hurl on you. Again, sexy dead man, you will not get your answers from me. Not today. Au revoir, mon ami. Until we meet again. Great. Terrific. Hmm. What the hell is this? So, you decided to come for a visit after all. I was beginning to think you had forgotten about me. I got a little sidetracked, and FYI, next time you tell somebody to come for a visit, you might want to provide a few more details about the crazy voodoo bitch on guard duty at the mausoleum. <laughs> so you did meet Judy. Spectacular, isn't she? I don't know. Uh, no, spectacular ain't exactly the word I'd use. What are you, to an item? You seem to be a little too alive for her tastes. Her tastes have changed over the years. Lucky stiffs. So, did you bring me the heads? Yep, sure did. There, that should fit nicely. Well, what do you think? Very comfy, thank you. And I'm sure I look like a million bucks wearing some corpse's head. Oh, you look fine. 
Honestly, it's not much worse than the brain in the jar thing. <laughs> but then again, I'm used to looking at corpses. I think they're rather lovely. I can help you with all of your interchangeable head needs. I own the Head Shop franchise. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it? I can't say I have. Ooh, where did you get this? Voodoo Betty left it behind when she got pulled underground by the cast of Night of the Living Dead. Juju Judy! Yeah, whoever. Do you know what that thing is? Of course I do. It's a mutant worm. There are mutant worms everywhere in Hope Falls these days. <laughs> They're amazing. When a mutant worm burrows into dead tissue, it has interesting effects. <laughs> For example, if one were introduced to one of your heads, it would cause new and beneficial mutations, enhancing the head's powers. Head upgrades are also a specialty of mine. That gold worm there is one of the rarest and most powerful. It can permanently boost a head's performance. <laughs> You're lucky. Judy never gave me a worm. Tell me this. How exactly do you use these worms? Anytime you find one, just get it to me. I can help you make the upgrade. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> of course. Thanks, pal. I'll think of you every time I find a slimy worm. Not just worms. Heads, too. I can modify heads that you collect so that you can use them. Swap them with your jar. That sounds pricey. I don't exactly have a lot of scratch at the moment. Hmm, yes. That does present a problem. Wait. I've got an idea. Not a problem. We'll just do the same deal as we did tonight. I can always use new headstock, and you're bound to come across a bunch of them. <laughs> How about this? Whenever you collect five heads of any new type, bring them to the head shop. I will keep four, and modify the fifth one for you. Sound fair? That sounds like a deal. But how will I know whether you need what I've, uh, collected? Here, take this. When you collect five heads, give me a call at the head shop. The number's stored in there. Hey, don't you need this? Nah, I never use up all of my minutes anyway. Damn phone company. Besides, it's got a tracking device in it. I'll bet Doc Steiner will want to keep an eye on where you are. <laughs> I'll let him know you have it. Oh, shit! The Doc! I almost forgot about him. Pitt and his goons grabbed him. They took him someplace called Creepy Hollow. Do you know where that is? Sure. It's just beyond the graveyard. Out that way. Thanks there, Sam. And, uh... And thanks for the head, too. I'll be in touch. It's a jungle out there. Well, I ain't seen squat till the bit of this place. I've been this deep in the bush since the day I was born. There's a cinch Steiner's around here somewhere. But where?
well, well. When you get a load of you, uh, yeah, you can drop the dukes, laddie. I'm not in the mood for fighting. You what passes for entertainment in this nightmare? Because I ain't laughing. I, I can see that. I see you got one of the executioner's heads there. Any idea what this one does? This is a shrunken head. You put this on, and you'll shrink to the size of a wee little leprechaun. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, if you'll pardon the pun, and give it a try? You see? Damned useful, really. Why, at that size, you can go into places you normally couldn't. Pipes, hollow logs, rat holes. You see? <laughs> Fun, ain't it? <laughs> Kinda like Alice in Wonderland. Only without the eat me part. <laughs> well, speaking of fairy tales, since you live here, why don't you make like Mother Goose and tell me a story? What's the deal with this horseman character? As the horseman first appeared the night after Pitt brought one of his boys out here to dispose of him. Left the body down by the lake. But there weren't no head attached. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Well, the body disappeared, and right after that, the horseman showed up, riding on the big ghost horse of his, flames shooting out of his nose. Yeah, the horse, that is. The horseman, well, he ain't got a nose to speak of, of course. <laughs> I need to find this horseman. Where is he? Find the horseman? Nobody finds the horseman. He finds you. Listen, you mick bastard. I don't have a choice. He's got his lousy mitts on an acquaintance of mine, a doctor that might be the only person who can fix me up. If you want to go searching for the horseman, you're on your own. I'll be off now, but I'm sure we'll see more of each other while you're in the hollow. <laughs> if you survive, of course. <laughs> Ta! Won't budge.
I guess you must be the horseman. Do tell! What gave you away, wise guy? Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, screw you and the horse you rode in on. You want a piece of me? Do you? Here I am. You want a candy attitude, Mr. Head. You might think you can't shit at Turtle Mountain because you got the better of me out in the woods. But you're on my turn now. And I'm gonna kick your ass! Yeah! Where the hell did he go? horse is pretty jumpy. If I can scare him badly enough, that horseman might end up right on his ass. Fred, I knew you'd figure it out. Doc, good to see you. Nice job with the hint. Well, I figured you were listening. Look, Fred, you have to get me out of here. I believe this horseman fellow intends to remove my head. Yep, say no more. I was just about to finish the bastard off. Hey, I hate to break up this family reunion, but you know, I got one head to remove and one private dick to ice. Hell! Now I can do both at the same time! Oh dear, this doesn't look good! Nicely done! Ah, jeez, what you go and do that for? Sorry, pal, but I'm not gonna let you barbecue the dock here. If you want them, you gotta go through me first.
Jake, look! What the? I'll be damned. Look at that! <laughs> Son of a bitch. So that's where it's been all this time. Sheesh. That's a hell of a relief. Hey, look, pal. I guess I owe you one for finding my think box and all. How about we call it square and I won't kill you after all? Deal? Sure. Why not? Ciao, baby! Hey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, him? <laughs> Hell, the lock on that cage ain't worked since I found it in the city dump. You're free to go, Doc. Um, uh, thanks. Where do I go from here? I still don't remember a damn thing. Your best bet is to head into town and start talking to people. That should help you piece together what's been going on so you can formulate a clear course of action. It better be good. I'm busy. Fred, hello. What is it now, Sam? You don't have to be snippy. I just wanted to tell you to be on the lookout for boneheads. Well, now, from what I've seen so far, there is a distinct surplus of boneheads in this town, but I appreciate it. Not boneheads. Boneheads. You know them when you see them. Very useful. Dangerous, though, so be careful. Same deal as before. Bring five to the head shop, and I'll set you up with one. Great. Gotta go. Uptown used to be one of the most bustling parts of town. Now it's more empty than a campaign promise. I wonder what gives. Just where do you think you're going, freak? Look who's talking. What, are you and your little friends on the way to a Halloween party, or what? You want to lose the attitude, job face? You know who you're talking to, huh? No, can't say that I do. The name's Facia Del Oso. Bone face? Well, it fits. But I'd still have to kick my mother's ass for giving me a name like that if I were you. I'd track her down, and I'd beat the shit out of her. So, you speak Italian, eh? Well, congratulations. And, Bafangulo. You might want to watch your language. There are ladies present. Well, around here, they call me the face. I'm the boss of all of Uptown, see? And I'll talk however I want. And I do whatever I want, including having my boys here kick your smart ass from here to the Hudson. Take them, boys. again. Sam said there was a head shop around here somewhere.
Here you go, Sam. You're back. I knew you'd be back. I just had a feeling. And also, I sell heads. Hey, face! I see you picked up some new bony friends, huh? That's just as well, since I filleted the last batch. Oh, you think you're pretty tough, huh? Well, everybody's gotta go down sometime, and your time is now! Hey! <laughs> face! Well, you're not gonna stay for the party? Nah, I don't wanna waste my time on small-time freaks like you. Besides, I got some collections to make. Hey, uh, do yourself a favor, right? Don't fight back. My boys will make you quick and painless. Well, quick, anyways. A liver dirty.
Damn. It's locked. Getting somewhere. This should be a good place to dredge up some memories. It's crawling with people. Somebody around here is bound to know who the hell I am. Pardon me, ma'am. I was hoping you could help me. <coughs> Maybe not. I guess I gotta take care of this damn mug of mine before I can do much of anything. Well. Guess I know now where all the well-dressed thugs in town get their threads. Maybe it's worth checking out. Good Lord! What in the world possessed you to leave the house looking like that? Do I know you, lady? Obviously not. If you knew me, you would never have dared to go out on the street looking like a refugee from an Alfred Hitchcock Halloween party. Nice. Well, if I wanted fashion advice, I would have... Hey, wait a minute! Just about everybody else I see in this burg runs screaming when they see me. How come you're not running scared? Darling, I'm El Cosmo. I've been in the fashion business for the... Um, several years. <laughs> and I've seen it all. Now, let's have a look at you. Well, the clothes are awful, of course. It looks like you're some sort of detective from a 40s film noir picture. I am a detective. Well, a PI license isn't a license to dress badly, darling. Still, we can fix the clothes. I have plenty of lovely things in stock. Hey, from the look of things, You've been here for a while, haven't you? So... What's the deal with Pitt? Well, that's one thing I really don't know. It's not healthy to stick your nose, or lack thereof, too far into Pitt's business. One person who might be able to help you is Jeannie Rossini. Her father, Vinny, used to be in charge here in Hope Falls, before Pitt came along. And Vinny disappeared. Nice man, Vinny. Snappy dresser. Jeannie Rossini. Where can I find her? Well, she usually goes to the concerts in the park. There's supposed to be one today, in fact. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Much obliged. Are you mad? You can't go out and try to talk to her looking like that. Like what? Like a water cooler from hell, that's what. <laughs> oh, that jar on your shoulders. Oh, normally, when I have a customer who's less than stunning, I recommend a face job. You... well, you need a head job! Look, Elle, sweetheart, that's a super nice offer. It is. But we just met. Oh, good lord. Is that all you men ever think about? I meant, you need to change that head of yours if you want to make a better impression on people. What you need is something more... normal-looking. Why, my mannequins look more normal than you do. I don't suppose you could spare the head off of one of your dummies, could you? My mannequins are imported from Paris, darling. They're very expensive. Oh, damn it. And I'm low on cash at the moment. Well, you being a detective and all, we might be able to work something out. You see, there are these creatures that congregate in the alley behind my shop. Their leader is called the Skull, or some such. Seen your face. Yeah. We met. Yes. Well, they work for Pitt, and they're extorting money from me constantly. Plus, they scare off the customers, and the garbage man hasn't been by in ages. If you could dispose of them for me, I might be able to find you a spare mannequin head. What do you think? You got yourself a deal, lady. I'm on it. Me and the face have a score to settle anyway. So, uh, did you take care of my little problem out back? Not exactly. No, but look, 
I was wondering if you might be a doll and give me one of those dummy heads of yours anyway. I really need to get going. <laughs> How can I put this clearly so you'll understand? If the bone thugs aren't dead, you get no head. Yes, that about sums it up. <gasps> now, either get out there and take care of those creatures or get out of my shop. So, Face, what are you gonna run again? A run? From a mook like you? I don't think so. Well, that's good. Cause I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> ain't you quite the joker, huh? Well, you better watch it. I ain't no pansy ass like my boys here. When I'm through with you, I'm gonna have you ground up nice and fine down at the packing plant. That way, the rest of your body can fit inside that head jar of yours, right next to your puny brain. <laughs> well, bring it on, Boner. I've been cracking skulls all day. I can always do one more. Problem solved, Del. Ah, uh, with you in a second, dear. Now, you were saying? Uh, I took care of Pitt's boys out back. Now, how about that head? Yes, I think I have just the thing. Try this one, darling. Well, how do I look? Pretty good? Let's not go overboard, but at least people won't run screaming anymore. And Jeannie Rossini might actually talk to you now, without calling the police. Thanks for your help, Elle. Much obliged. My pleasure, darling. If you ever need a new outfit, you know where to find me. I might have more work for you in the future as well. Ta-ta!
Now there's something you can't find in the catalogs. I'll trade you for it. Sorry, pal. Street's closed. What's the problem? Well, not that it's any of your business, but Mr. Pitt called in a complaint. Says there's some freak terrorizing folks here in Uptown. Says the guy can change heads or some shit. Some kind of monster. <laughs> we can't let anybody by until we catch this guy. That is, if he ain't left already. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Hey, wait! Hold it right there, pal! You ain't seen somebody like that walking around here, have you? Um... No. You, uh, um, sure? A head-swapping monster freak. Honestly, if I saw something like that, I think I'd notice. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Me too! Oh well, it was worth asking. Now move along, pal, I'm busy. Excuse me, ma'am, but I need to get into the park. You wouldn't happen to know when they unlock the gates, would you? Why, yes. 9 a.m. each morning. Come on, it's already past 9. You see, it's dangerous in there these days, so I haven't been unlocking the gate. Best to keep what's inside behind the fence, if you take my meaning. You have a key? Look, lady, I really have to get into the park. Well, I might be convinced to let you in, but... I'd need something in return. Story of my life. What is it? I lost my wedding ring somewhere in that little courtyard, near the head shop. It's very valuable. If you can find it and bring it back to me, I'll open the gate. Don't know why you don't get it yourself if you know where it is, but what the hell? You got a deal. I will be right back.
There you go. As promised. Oh, thank you. You're a man of your word. Most people would have taken a $15,000 ring straight to the pawn shop, but you brought it back to me. Fifteenth... Never mind. Never mind. I'm very happy to do it. Now, how about you make with the key? Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. The park is a dangerous place these days. Sounds like it. Oh, great. Just what this park needs. Another freak. You talking to me? You see any other freaks around here at the moment? Well, watch who you're calling a freak, okay? Because I don't need to take that kind of shit from a friggin' pufferfish peddler. Pufferfish peddler? You know who the hell you talking to, weirdo? I am a sushi artist! To many, I am known as the Renoir of Rockfish! The Monet of Mackerel! The... the... The Jackson Pollock of Jackson Pollock? Hey! That's a good one! I'm gonna have to add that! My car! Broad Deal Sushi. Magnificent culinary creations. Fish and fishing accessories. Suck One. Master manipulator of fish and fish byproducts. The Renoir of Rockfish. The Monet of Mackerel. Hey, partner. Is your real name Suck One? Or your parents just fucking hate you? Not suck. Suck. Like book. Suck One. Hey, slow down. You're going 60 and a 35 there, Suck. Now, if you say so, we'll play it your way. If you're finished insulting me, I got business in the park. Oh, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Very dangerous. Dangerous? It's a park, for God's sake. What, are you afraid I got attacked by a rabbit chipmunk? Oh, uh, yeah, but chipmunks in this park are seven feet tall and carry big axes. This place is crawling with executioners. Executioners? Not sure I like the sound of that. You can say that again. Very bad for business. I can't even get to the lake to catch fish. Park, very dangerous place. Well, I don't have a choice. I gotta get in there. I'm meeting somebody. The only thing you meet in there is your maker. But you seem determined. Tell you what, you go in, take care of all executioners, and clear path to lake. If you survive, Sook will reward you, teach you how to fish. Fish? Gee. Thank you. I'm so looking forward to it. Now get out of my way, you idiot. I got some executioners to execute.
tougher than you look. Ha! Huh. Or not. Oh, now just what in the hell did you expect? You damn near scared the shit out of me. It can be bad for your health to sneak up on people like that. Ah, well, it bad for my health if you don't finish off the rest of the executioners in this park, too. Don't waste time talking to me. Lots of work to be done. You know, if you're gonna follow me around, the least you could do is pitch in and help me fight these bastards. Hey, I'm a fisherman, dammit! Not a fighter! Besides, you're doing bang-up job! Not far to go now! Hop, hop, hop to it! Take your time about this. What you do? Stop to have picnic before you kill him? Look, Mouse and Tongue, I've about had it with your chatter. If you don't like the way I work, I can just leave. No, no, no. Just kidding. You do great job. Carry on, carry on. Almost there now. Welcome to Ra Deal Sushi, where it's not just the prices that are bad. Excellent! Excellent! All executioners gone! Park safe again! You did good job! You're not like the other freaks! Thank you! That means so much coming from you. As well it should! I am very good judge of character. You come through on your end of deal, so I come through on mine. Here, take this! I'm sorry, you seriously expect me to go fishing? Let me ask you a personal question. Do I look like a fucking fisherman to you? No, you look like ill-tempered water cooler with legs. But looks don't matter. Fish don't care. Look, you simple cocksucker. I don't have time for this. This ain't very big business. Make you lots of money. Money? I'm listening. Come, come. i show you how to fish and make big bucks. Come on.
I tell you, fishing lots of fun. <laughs> well, I guess it ain't half bad. Well, fishing here always pretty good. And there are other places to fish in town, too. If you ever catch anything you want to sell, look suka. I always looking for fresh stock. Not enough wasabi in the world to cover up taste of wickled sushi. Yeah, right. Tell you what, I'm going to keep that in mind. Thank you.
woman. There's something about her, something familiar. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm gonna crack this case wide open. You can count on it. Here's to us. I can see the headlines now. Private Dick Fred Newman busts Boss Pitt. With help from hot local gal, Jeannie Rossini. I'll drink to that. But be careful, Freddy. Pitt's a dangerous man. If he gets wind that you're investigating him, he might make you disappear. Just like he did my father. Don't worry, sweetheart. I can take care of myself. I can. I'm really close now. Once I get the dirt on Pitt, I will have his head on a platter. Yeah? Well, it's your head I'm worried about. Genie. Mind if I sit down? It's a free country, mister. Genie. It's me, Fred. Fred Newman. Huh. You almost had me there for a second. You sure dressed the part. Thing is, Freddy didn't have a face that made him look like Howdy Doody's next door neighbor. No offense. Ah, come on, Genie. You and I go way back. Well, we go back some, at least. Don't you recognize me at all? My voice, maybe? I gotta admit, you do a damned good impression. Fred's dead. I saw them lower his coffin into the ground with my own two eyes. But I'm not dead! Well, I am. Sort of. But whatever was in that coffin, trust me, it wasn't me! All right. If you're Fred, tell me something only Fred would know. Um, well, that's a little hard. My memory... Uh, it's kind of blank at the moment. It's... It's been that way since... It's been that way since I got back. I can... I, I can see the headlines now. Private Dick Fred Newman bust Boss Pitt with help from local gal Jeannie Rossini. I'll drink to that. Huh. Like I said, you do a good impression. But I'm not buying it. You could have overheard that. If you were really Fred, You'd remember more than just a few random words. Damn it, Jeannie, cut me some slack, would you please? My memory, it's... It's more full of holes than a block of Swiss cheese after the St. Valentine's Day massacre. You want answers? Why don't you go and see Benny? He knows more about Fred's business than I do. A lot more, unless I miss my guess. Benny? Benny? Benny Salazar? If you really were Fred, I would think you'd remember your partner. Partner? I have a partner? Where can I find him? Where is he? Where he always is. Poisoning his liver down at the Gin and Toxic in Zombie Town. Thanks, Sarah Genie. You're a doll. Hey, where can I find you if I... If I need to talk to you again? I'm always around. But don't worry about finding me. If I ever want to see you again, I'll find you. Just don't hold your breath. Crying kids. <laughs> Mister, you gotta help me, please. What is it, kid? I'm kind of busy. It's my shovel. I lost it. You gotta be kidding me. All this noise over a friggin' shovel? It's my only one, and my mom will kill me if I don't bring it home. C can you help me find it? I think it's in the bushes somewhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll help you. If it'll shut you up. All these damn bushes. Somebody ought to just slash and burn this fucking jungle. Ah! 
Doesn't look like that's built to last. Bet I could break it. Problem there, kid. Now scram. I got things to do. Aw, oh, jeez, mister. You don't have to be such a dick. Excellent! You handled that very well. For a dead person, I mean. Bye, Fred. If you find that Peckerwood mob boss, give him a bitch slap for me. Excellent work, Fred. Now, wasn't that easy? Bye-bye.
You've been so helpful, Fred. I'm thinking about giving you a discount. In the sequel. Old Hope Falls. Even though my memory is still foggier than a drunken sailor in San Francisco, this place almost seems like home. My own little corner of hell.
You look like a man who's looking for something. Yes, sir, you sure do. Marshall Lessworth the name. Knickknacks and trinkets are my game. You are? Name's Fred. Nice to meet you, Fred. What can I help you find? The only thing I need at this moment is information. And I'm thinking you ain't exactly the guy to give it to me. Thanks, though. Maybe I'll drop in again sometime. <clears throat> Come on, Charlie. I want you to meet my dad. It's only proper that you as my boyfriend should ask my dad's permission to date me exclusively. Penny, I've known your dad since we were little kids. And for the hundredth time, I'm not your boyfriend. Now let go. Hello there. Uh, hi. Daddy, you just have to introduce me to your handsome new friend. <laughs> I don't believe I've seen him around town before. This is my daughter, Penny. Penny, this is Fred. Fred is, uh, uh... Just leave him. No, no, stay a while. Penny, could you go in the back and inventory the new stock for me? But Daddy! Now, Penny, uh, please. No. All right. See you around. Soon. Can I interest you in a tinfoil hat? It'll stop the headaches. Charlie. Penny, remember what we talked about. Don't tell anyone I'm here with you. I'm only doing this because your father's paying me. Charlie, do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Whatever. Charlie, do you like babies? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at what we got here! You big meanies! Give us your dope! Oh! 
Hi there. Hello there. Let's not tell Daddy what happened, okay? Whoa, 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 take it easy, kid. You look like you've seen a ghost. Mister, have you looked around this town lately? Yeah. Actually, you have a point. My name's Fred, and I'm a detective. Private dick, huh? Listen, Charlie, isn't it? From what I heard back there at the pawn shop, you've been in this town for a while. All my life. Yeah, well, I ain't exactly new around here, but my memory is for shit lately. I'm working a case, and I need all the dope I can get on Ulysses Pitt. What do you know about him? Pitt? He's the guy who's taken this town straight to hell. He's responsible for everything that's gone wrong around here. The neighborhood where I grew up used to be nice. Now they call it Zombie Town. It's a scary place to be. Really bad. You happen to know where I can find him? Look, mister, I'm just a high school kid, and I try to keep my nose clean. People who cross pit tend to take sudden, prolonged vacations, if you know what I mean. Hey, maybe if you come up to Z-Town sometime, I can show you some of the things Pitt and his goons are doing to the place. Okay, kid. I'll look you up if I'm ever in Zombie Town.
Thank you kindly, Fred. is wasted on the young. Don't know what this place used to be called, but now they call it Zombie Town. Now, they don't mean it literally, but considering some of the shit I've seen today, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Zombie assholes! It's locked. It's locked.
Like I said, somebody's got to do something about these shambling pieces of shit.
What'll it be, doll face? <laughs> Funny guy. Free entertainment always come with the drinks in this place? Depends. Now, you drinking? Or am I wasting my fucking time? I'm looking for a guy by the name of Salazar. Benny Salazar. You know him? I know a lot of people. Word has it, he's in here almost every night, frying his liver with your rut gut. Every sorry bastard in this place is doing that, pal. You see one drunk piece of shit, you've seen them all. Hell, I'd be one of them if I hadn't opened this place instead. Things used to be different. A lot different. Before Pitt came to town. Why, what'd Pitt do to you? Steal all your clean glasses or something? Listen, wise ass, you better can the attitude. You don't know who you're talking to. I wasn't always no bartender, see? I used to be the big cheese around these parts till Pitt came along and took over every damn criminal enterprise in this lousy town. Used to be if there was a deal going down, Omar Escobar had a piece of the action. Now with Pitt and his goons running things, I'm just the fucking bartender who gets squeezed just like every other Stugats in Hope Falls. So, you go ahead and cop whatever attitude you want. I've been through too much to give a shit. Look, man. We all got troubles, alright? And as it happens, yours and mine are with the same guy. That's why I need to find my pal, Benny. He can help me fill in the blanks so I can get my problems solved, and maybe yours along with it if things turn out right. Yeah? Maybe so. But it looks like you got some more immediate troubles to deal with, Dollface. Hey, sounds like we do have the same troubles, you and me. You get out of this mess alive, come back and see me. We might be able to help each other out. Oof. You better run. A few rotting corpses with delusions of grandeur don't scare me. Oh, is that so? Well, how about a few dozen? Hello, Judy. This time, my zombies will finish you off. And I can take home just a piece of you that I want the most. She must get her power from those jars. Again with the freaking fireballs! Yikes! Maybe now would be a good time to walk. Give me a break. 
Would you please? It is over, Judy. You're worm food. Your boss Pitt is gonna have to get his zombies elsewhere from now on. Now talk. Yes, I will keep my promise. There is a tape. A video tape. A tape? What tape? Where is it? That's all I know. That's it? That's all you got? You're so handsome when you're angry. <laughs> hey, after all I've been through, I am still quite the lady killer. Yes, indeedy, sweetie. It back. Yeah, no thanks to you. Now how about you just can the banter this time and point me in the direction of Benny Salazar. Hey, take it easy. Your boy Benny's over in the corner. Just follow the smell of cheap scotch. You can't miss him. Go away, damn it. I ain't in the mood for company. Now that ain't no way to talk to your old pal, Fred, is it, partner? What the hell are you talking about? You ain't Fred. Fred's dead. You're roughly about half right on that one, Benny. Fred? Holy shit, Fred. What the hell? How? They told me you was worm food. Well, I'm here, in the flesh. But there are definitely worms involved, yes. Holy shit, Fred! I can't believe it! I never even bothered looking for you after I heard what Pitt and his boys was gonna do. I wish I'd never told them I... Told them what, Benny? Spill it! They was gonna meet with you and... and pay you off to stop hounding Pitt. They paid off my gambling debts, huh? And all I had to do was say where you was. Fred, I never thought they'd... Benny... Benny, Benny, you stupid son of a bitch. You actually believed a piece of shit like Pitt just wanted to talk to me? I don't know, man, I don't know. But shit, Fred, I'm just so happy to see you. Look, Benny, we got a lot to talk about. My memory ain't what it was before that little meeting you set up. There are a lot of blanks. I got a feeling that you can fill them in. Yeah, sure, Fred, sure. Whatever you want. But you gotta let me sober up first. I ain't been off the sauce since they told me you was dead. Okay. Where and when do you want to meet? I just need a little while. It won't take long. Here, we can meet at the office later. We can talk there. This place is crawling with Pitt's goons. I don't mean to sound dense. But where is this office of ours? Right where you left it, buddy. Down in Old Hope Falls. Damn, it's good to see you, Fred. Yeah, yeah. Now go dry out, will you please? You smell like the urinals on a 90-degree day at Yankee Stadium.
Nice doing business with you, Fred. Mom's the word, okay? Good work, Fred.
It won't budge. It won't budge. It's locked. Just keep this between us, okay, friend? Hey, Sam. Game, Fred. I pat your ass, but I'm afraid you'd tear my arm off.
see you later on, Fred. For This is it, huh, Benny? Yeah. The old stomping grounds. You want to go inside? Take a look around. It might get your old think box back in gear. Yeah, it might at that. Lead the way, Benny. Here we are. Shithole, sweet shithole. That's what we always called it, remember? Hey, look. Why don't you take a little time to yourself? I got a call to make anyway. I met this dame at the bongo club last week. You should see her bongos. Huh? Yeah. Enjoy.
Way to go out there. I owe you. Somebody's got to deal with these zombies pronto, or there ain't gonna be a single decent person left alive in this neighborhood.
Thanks, Fred. You're helping out the whole community.
Well, hello. Hey, what's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? How about a little fashion sense for start? Read the sign, pal! Proper dress required. Oh. What do you know? He can read. So what passes for proper dress? It's real simple, Bob. No suit, no tie, no my tie. Gabish. Yeah, I capiche. Looks like I'm gonna need some new threads. Excellent! You handled that very well. For a dead person, I mean. Bye, Fred. If you find that peckerwood mob...
to see you, fella. Peace, brother.
Hello. What are you oh. looking for? What the hell's the matter with you? You damn near gave me a heart attack. What are you, some kind of pansy ass? I'm a feeble old man. What the hell are you scared of me for? Name's Grizzle. What I do is train people. That's my gig. So what, you're gonna train me to box? Hell no. You wouldn't last two seconds in the ring. Mister, I've seen some glass jaws in my time, but you take the prize hands down. So what then? What I can teach you is how to use your head. All of them. Well, I guess I could use some help in that department. Hell, I might have a job or two for you, if you're good enough. What do you say? Sounds like a plan.
Damn. It's locked. Do better. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, sweetie. You're so tall, dark, and, well, two out of three ain't bad. Thanks for the help, dear. I hope you were brutal. Nice to see you.
Now there's something you can't find in the catalogs. I'll trade you for it. to hear it, dear. I hope you made those mutant dildos pay for what they've done. Hey, what's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here? Very sorry, sir. We gotta keep the door locked. You know, to keep out the low lights. Like a bump. Get lost. Go on, Amscray. You know how it is. Hang on. I'll buzz you in. Local Buzz says the Bongo Club is one of the most popular watering holes in town. But this place ain't no bar. It's Don Ho's worst nightmare with a cover charge. Well, who really gives a damn anyway? I'm here to find Genie and to set things right between us. Here's the tricky part. I just need to find a way to convince her that I am who I say I am. I need her to trust me if I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh, hey, Sam, let me guess. You want me to get heads, huh? Get? What part of town do you think you're in? I don't 
think they have ladies that do that sort of thing at the Bongo Club. Heads, plural, as in get yours out of your ass. What am I looking for? Well, these are called tiki heads. They look just like giant masks. That doesn't help much, Sam. There are tiki masks everywhere in this place. They're hanging all over the walls. These would be attached to creatures, like the other heads you've collected. Remember, five is the lucky number. Bring them to the head shop when you're ready. Okay. All right, tiki face. Let's rumble. My mama said I'd never get ahead in life.
Hiya, Jeannie. Oh, it's you. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. What do you want now? Damn it, Jeannie, I need you to believe me. W without your help, I'm gonna be stuck like this the rest of my miserable life. I want to. Believe me, I do. But why should I? It doesn't make any sense that you could be my Freddy. Freddy's dead. You'd have to find some way to prove it to me. You'd have to say or do something that only my Freddy could do. All right, yeah. Put your hands together for the Dark Tones. Now the band will be back in just a little while. But right now, it's open mic time at the Bongo Club. Time for you fine citizens of Hope Falls to show us how talented you really are. Now come on, who's gonna be first? Don't be shy. I know. Sex. Right. I bet I'm known for my prowess as a lover. Well, yeah, if that's the only way I can prove that I am who I say I am, then... Waiter, check. No, you idiot. Sax. As in saxophone. Nobody could play the gobble pipe like my Freddy. Uh, Jeannie, I... Yeah, here's your man. Right here. Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? Stand up, sir. Who are you, and what are you going to do to entertain us on this fine evening? His name is... Fred, supposedly. He's gonna play us an original number on the sax if you've got one. Why, sure we do. Anytime you're ready, Freddy. Jenny, I can't do this. You can. And you will if you ever want me to believe your cock and bull story. So, what's it gonna be? Come on up here, Fred. Your audience awaits! All right, I'll do it. You better be ready with a whopper of an apology when I'm done. I didn't believe you. It's just that I thought you were dead. And you look so... Uh, different. Yeah, well... I've been through a lot. But don't sweat it, baby. I'm just glad we're a team again. If things are ever gonna get back to normal for me, for us, I'm gonna need your help. Oh, anything, Freddy. I'll tell you whatever I know. I need the scoop on your father. I can't remember a damned thing. I know he went missing, and I'm guessing he's probably... Dead? You can say it. I'm a big girl. I know the score. Just like I know Pitt was behind it. What we need is some solid evidence linking your father's death to Pitt. If I could only get a look at the body... You can. Dad's body turned up at the morgue downtown not long after you died. After you disappeared. I gotta have a look for myself. Freddy, they wouldn't let me in there and I'm family. What chance do you have of seeing him? I'll tell you what. Why don't you leave that to me? And take care, Jeannie. I'll see you soon.
Downtown Hope Falls. This place has definitely seen better days. Holy crap! You look worse than some of the stiffs they bring in here. What exactly would you say you do around here? 
besides give out beauty tips. Me? I'm just the attendant. I check in the stiffs. Tag them and bag them. <laughs> hey, slip me a couple of simoleons and uh, I'll let you see who they brought in today. Some really cool shit, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'll just bet it is. I'll tell you what, I'll keep that in mind if I ever get the overwhelming urge to spend some time with a stiff. Whatever. Anyway, I'm busy right now, so if you don't have any official business, you need to leave. You can't stay back there too long, in case somebody comes in. Oh, and hey, those top drawers won't hold the weight of you and the body at the same time. Especially if you get, uh, enthusiastic. Believe me, my friend, I speak from experience. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> Rossini. We meet at last. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Okay, Rossini, here I am. What is so important we can't talk about it in your office instead of out in the middle of nowhere? Look, Pete. I've gone straight now. It's not like I was a holding out on you or nothing. I just wanted to live in peace. What? You ain't at peace? Pete, Ulysses, there's nothing for you here. No piece of the action. No action to have a piece of. What is it exactly you're trying to tell me, Benny? Why don't you spell it out for me? I'm not that bright. Please, enlighten me. What I'm telling you is that you are not gonna get your hooks into this town. Hope Falls isn't much of a place, but it's a my place. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some two-bit couple from the old neighborhood piss all over it. Two-bit couple? Two-bit! I got news for you, Rossini. When you retired to the boonies, you gave up the right to talk down to me. You can't tell me what I can have and what I can't have. You ain't the goddamn boss no more, Vinny. For old time's sake, I'm gonna give you one more chance. You and me, we can work together and make this pissant little town into a paradise. Or you can turn your back on my friendship, and you can take whatever fate sends your way. So, what'll it be? Partners, or not? Go to hell, Pit. Pretty much what I expected. See you around. All right, let me grab that piece of shit and bring him along. Eddie, get the gasoline from the car. 
We need something that looks like crop circles, like some alien spaceship landed and burned the field or something. God damn! Feeny! I remember now. Those bastards murdered you in cold blood. And I was there. I videotaped the whole damn thing. The tape must still be out there somewhere. I gotta get my hands on it before somebody else does. Sweet mother of God. What's with the get-up, pal? Halloween ain't for another couple of months. Name's Fred. Fred, um... Just Fred'll do. I'm a gumshoe on the trail of some guy named Pitt. I'm busy. I got a case file full of scumbags I need to find and put behind bars. Unless you can help me clear up these cases, it's gonna be a cold day in Panama before I've got time to answer questions. Anytime you feel like pitching in, just drop in and ask. You talking to me?
line. Well, what do you want? What can you tell me about this place? It's the Pope Falls Postal Office? Hello? I can read the damn sign, smartass. I mean, how does it work? Uh, fine. Whatever. You can have your own mailbox here, just like everybody else in town. You can have... Um, that one. You need to come back every once in a while to check for new mail. These things fill up fast, and we are not responsible for any damage that might and probably will occur. So, do we understand how the mail works now? Fuck you, little punk. Keep cracking wise with me, and your next special delivery is gonna be my size 12 right up your ass. Or maybe it won't be. Because you look like you might just like that. So no, no shoe up the ass for you. No shoe up the ass for you. You don't get my shoe. No. You get nothing. <laughs> well, you certainly have a way with people. That's vital in the postal business. I have occasional special delivery runs that could use a touch like yours. If you're ever interested, just stop in and I'll probably have work for you.
Damn. It's locked. Game, Fred. Hey, pat your ass. Fred, I need. Hey, you want to do some shots?
Let's try on something expensive. A good outfit. Hey, Sam.
Thank you. Next. See? This job? Move along now. Let's keep the line moving.
You did it! What's up, Doc? What's cooking? Ah, Fred. Funny you should ask. You see, I've made a remarkable discovery. I've been studying the properties of these mutant worms that are popping up all over town. They're really fascinating. You gotta get out more. Worms? What's so fascinating about worms? I have discovered that, when distilled, the different colored worms each produce a different physiological effect. Depending on the color, the worms can increase your health, serve as antidotes to poison, all kinds of astounding things. Hmm. Sounds like it's worth putting up with the stench, huh? So how's about you brew me up a variety six-pack and I'll take it with me? Just might come in handy. Yes, well, the problem is that the distillation process takes time. You can come back here and pick up what you need later. Or if you get yourself a box at the postal office, I can send it to you there. Now, go on. I have lots of work to do. Ah, very good. I can't wait to juice this one. How about some nice worm juice? Ooh, a nice fat one! I'll juice the crap out of it! I have worm juice for you. Drink up. Is looking at you, Fred. Another worm? Excellent! I'll juice it right away! Drink some worm juice. It's good for you, really. Ah, very good. I can't wait to juice this one. I've got worm juice for you. Lahayam! How fascinating! This should make a terrific juice. How about some nice worm juice? Excellent work, Fred. Farewell, my friend. And remember, if you find more... Falls, New Jersey. The citizens of the small town of Hope Falls, New Jersey remain in shock today after the announcement that town benefactor Vinny Rossini disappeared yesterday without a trace. Sources close to Rossini say that the octogenarian left yesterday morning for a meeting with former associate and longtime friend Ulysses Pitt, who recently moved his corporation and extensive holdings to the town of Hope Falls. Mr. Pitt, who we interviewed earlier today, was obviously distraught at this turn of events. Yeah, I was pretty f 
broke up when I heard. He was going to meet me to discuss the future of the town yesterday, but he never showed. Annoyed the shit out of me at first. Then I heard he was gone, and I went to fucking pieces. Authorities investigated the farmland outside of Hope Falls, where Rossini was last seen. Strange scorched areas and markings were found at the site. Although some theories have been proposed, no conclusion has yet been reached. Alien, Sergeant! I'm telling you, I've seen it all before! The markings are clearly Martian in origin! Or maybe Rogelian! Marshal, why don't you get back to your pawn shop and leave me in peace? You know you're not supposed to be here. It's a crime scene. It's an abduction scene is what it is. Benny Rossini was abducted by aliens. They're probing him right now. Abducted. Abducted! Come on now, Marshal. Will you turn that damn thing off? Whatever the cause of his disappearance, the town of Hope Falls remains stunned by this unexpected turn of events. Jeannie Rossini, daughter of the missing man, has vowed to get to the bottom of this mystery, whatever it takes. Benny! Yeah, Fred? Ha! Jeez, somebody's jumpy today. What do you what do you know about this file? This newsreel thing? That? All I know is that you was obsessed with it, that's all. Watched it two, three times a day before you... Well, you know. That house. The one where the cop and the UFO nut are talking. Do you know where that is? Geez, Fred. Your brains are Swiss cheese, aren't they? You really don't know? Benny, why the hell would I ask you where it is if I already knew? Now are you gonna tell me, or are you just gonna stand there like a fucking stump? Do I look like I have nothing to do? Fred, man, that's your house. You bought a little place out by all them freak farms, not long after we blew into town. How can you not remember your own house? I wish I knew, pal. I wish I knew. You know what, Fred? You ought to go out there. You know, take a look around. Maybe you'll see something that'll jog your noggin. Yeah, you're right. I need to find that house and see how it figures into this whole twisted mess. Oh, that's swell. Hey, you didn't pay for it, did you?
And here I am, middle of friggin' nowhere, looking for a house that I don't even remember owning. Benny seems like a good guy, but I think it might be the booze talking when he says I lived out this way. Somehow, when I look in the mirror, I don't strike myself as the farming type. Admittedly, I'm still hazy on the finer points of the law. I don't think memories from severed heads are admissible in court, but videotapes are. There wasn't a videotape in the office, though, so if it exists, it must be at my old place. Sam Spade, I presume? How did you know? Well, it ain't like people are lining up to call me here lately. What's up? New headhunting opportunity? Precisely. You see, there are scarecrows out there that have very unique characteristics. <laughs> Ones that could be very beneficial to you. Yeah, but if they only had a brain. Sorry? Never mind. If I run across them, I'll grab five of their straw noggins and bring them into the head shop. Later. What the? I'm in your debt, mister. It's locked. Now we're getting somewhere. You can do.
The head harvest has been... Hello, Fred. Did you bring cash? I'm gonna enjoy getting you, boy. Get him! There he is!
Yeah. Go on back where you came from.
Pitt finds out your ass is grass, Fred. He had a bid in on that property, and you snaked it right out from under him. Yeah, well, Pitt can kiss my ass, Benny. Maybe next time he'll be smart enough to do his killing on property he already owns. I had to act fast before he turned it into a damn parking lot and hid the evidence under a foot of concrete. The police have been all over that place, Fred. They didn't find nothing. Yeah. But I think they will as soon as I give them the tape. Where'd you put it, Fred? Jeez, if Pitt knew about it... Well, he doesn't know about it. And he's not gonna. And do yourself a favor. Don't you worry about the tape, either. It's someplace nice and safe. Son of a bitch! Damn it! Pitt must have gotten here first. That bastard doesn't miss a trick. This definitely complicates things. Now I need to find out where he took that tape, uh, assuming he hasn't already destroyed it. Hello. What's this? Montezuma's Casino. Hmm. Well, the luck of the guy who won this chip is about to change. It's locked. Montezuma's Casino. P. 
pit's number one attraction in his own personal cesspool, playground of the rich and desperate, and home to some of the biggest lowlifes ever to walk the face of the planet. Yeah. Fred, you're at the casino. How exciting. Somehow, Sam, I'm guessing you don't want me to place a bet for you. Not at all. Pitt has henchmen with huge stone idol heads on guard at the casino. I don't need to tell you just how useful stone idol heads can be. Nope. I definitely know about those. The usual five? Count on it. Sammy? You're back. I knew you'd be back. I just had a feeling. And also, I sell heads. It won't budge.
Good day, sir. Welcome to the Executive Lounge Elevator. I'm Peterson, and I'll be your elevator operator. How can I serve you today, sir? Well, Peterson, you can start by shutting the fuck up and taking me to the Executive Lounge. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. locked.
Well, there I was, face to face with Aztec Eddie Calderon, one of the meanest bastards that Pitt ever recruited into his twisted crime empire. 
and he had the kind of mug you usually only see on the shelf of a cheap souvenir shop in Tijuana. I was going to have to find a way to convince him to hand over the key to the vault. Otherwise... Hey! Who the hell are you talking to, man? Sorry. Yeah? Well, you gonna be sorry, man. Cause I'm gonna shove that jar head of yours right up your ass! Where in the hell's that key? Aha! You know, you could have just given me this key and saved yourself one fuck all of a lot of grief. Little flamboyant for my tastes, but what the hell?
Well, well, Mr. Norman. You think you're a pretty smart guy, don't you? Yeah, I got a pretty good head on my shoulders. What would you say if I told you that I have rock-solid evidence that you were involved in Vinnie Rossini's murder? I'd say it's a shame nobody's ever gonna see. So what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Somebody's bound to hear the shots. You know, you're right. I guess I ain't gonna shoot you after all. Lefty, shoot that son of a bitch. With pleasure, boss. Oh. Nicely done, as always, Lefty. Yo, Eddie, toss the dick in the sludge. Uh, but I want the head. Your team, boss. Well, Eddie, looks like I owe you one for doing a half-assed job. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. That's to cover the damn suit I had to buy to get up here. Hello, Doc. <laughs> I am beside myself that you called. I just found the tape in the vault at the casino. When the cops get this... Oh, daddy. How in the fuck did you get this number? You didn't put the bag on Steiner again, did you? Because if you did, I'm... Phone, damn it. Do it, or there ain't a chance in hell you're ever getting this tape. Freddy! Oh, God! Jeannie, baby, I'm so sorry I should have protected you better. It's not your fault, Freddy. I, I, I think he's gonna kill me. Yeah. Probably. I... What? I said he's probably going to kill you when I get through doing what I'm gonna do. I'm so sorry, but... It's something that needs to be done. I have to bring him down, Jeannie, and it's got to be now, tonight. Are you insane? What are you going to do? You need to get me out of here, you son of a bitch! Now, don't do anything stupid, woman. I will kill her. I swear to God. I know, and I'm thinking there's nothing I can do to change that. But you're also killing this town, and I can do something to change that. That is the sound of $100 million of your money going up in flames. And I suspect that the rest of this crazy casino of yours won't be far behind. You son of a bitch! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! You tried that once. Didn't go so hard. I'll give you another chance, though. But I've got some other business to take care of first. What about your girlfriend, huh? Look, she knew the risks when she got involved with me. It ain't about Jeannie anymore. It ain't about me. It's about you, Pitt. And I'm taking you down. You're one twisted son of a bitch, and there ain't one damn thing that's gonna stand in my way. I'm gonna tear that jaw head of yours off and shove it straight up your ass. You just wait and see, Luke. Oh, yeah? You're welcome to try. But speaking of seeing... I think that you might want to grab a few flashlights and maybe a backup generator or two. It is lights out time, Pit. 
We'll see you real soon. Time for me to go nuclear on his ass. Benny! Yes, man? The infamous pit nuclear plant. Do you know where that is? You yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Whatever you want. But you gotta let me go. Sober up first. Here we go again. We can meet at the office later. We can talk there. Great. Gotta go.
gotta find a way up there. Where'd you come from? Feather dome. What the hell? Can't hurt to take a look. Looks like the fighters are ready, and we are about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the feathers to fly! Are you ready? Then cry havoc and let's rip the cocks of war! Hmm. Interesting sport. Maybe I should consider getting a piece of this action.
They say you... Fred, you're the great... Don't be a stranger. in Hope County. My daddy says so. the best you can do, huh?
The closer I get to that nuclear plant, the uglier this place gets. This sludge makes the water in the john at the gin and toxic look downright refreshing. Yeah. Ah, friend, I'm glad I caught you. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I'm surprised you did. I'm in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I figured the only way to get four bars out here in the boonies was to open three yourself. I just wanted to tell you, I've come up with a way to get you into Pitt's nuclear plant. I'm listening. My former protege, Dr. Christopher Grimes, lives very close to your current location. He took over my work after I quit, so he should still have a key. Then he's just gonna give it to me? I suspect not. All right, well, at least it's a start. I'll just find his place and tell him that you sent me. Um, you might not want to do that. He has no great love for me either. He always considered me a bit, uh, eccentric. I can't imagine why. Yes, well, be that as it may, there's also the fact that I sort of left him holding the bag when I quit. Yeah, a bag full of radioactive shit. To put it bluntly, yes. Fine, I'll leave you out of it then. Anything else I should know? Only that Grimes has always been a bit high strung. He doesn't exactly welcome visitors with open arms. I'll keep that in mind, Doc. Thanks for the tip. Now all I gotta do is find out where this Grimes character lives. Forgot something, Doc? Fred, it's me! As if I don't already have enough to do. I'm guessing you're about to send me off on another wild head chase. What is it this time? Mutants. Ooh. That sounds ugly. Beauty is in the cool, dead eye of the beholder, my jar-headed friend. And I think you'll want one of these for yourself when you see what they can do. Well, you've never led me wrong so far, Sam. I'll bring the usual five. See you later at the head shop. I haven't gotten this much head since that vacation in Bangkok. 
It's my favorite customer in my... Twinkle toes! 
Eat shit and thunder! <laughs> Yeah. 
killer. You're a ballet oh. I want to see blood, twinkle toes! Oh.
You ain't a killer. You're a ballet dancer. I want to see oh. blood, Twinkle Toes! Oh! 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 Oh!
I'm surprised you came back! Oh, <laughs> 
I'm surprised you came back! I bet you think you raised hell!
Hey, pal. How's tricks?
Excellent! You handled that very... Well done! Very well done indeed! Excellent! You handled that very well. Give them hell, Fred.
Damn. It's locked. He's done it again. What do you need, pal? Talking to me? Come <laughs> on. 
What do you need, pal?
What the he hell do you want? You're in my way! Beat it, kid! Hey, Sam.
away! Dr. Grimes? W we need to talk. I'm... I know who you are. You're just another one of Pitt's goons trying to intimidate me into going back to that death trap of a nuclear plant. I'll tell you what I told them. Get lost. Look, Grimes, if you'll just listen, I'm... Yeah, well, I've got a gun leveled at your balls right now, so look. I don't want a hole in my door, and you don't want to leave singing soprano. So, if you want to leave with all the parts you came with, you'll do it now. Here's an idea. Why don't you just cut the tough guy shit and listen to me, Grimes? I don't want you to go to the power plant. You never have to go back again for all I care. What do you mean? Who are you? Fred Newman. I'm a private dick working the Rossini case. Like I've been trying to tell you, I ain't with Pitt. And I'm not interested in running that plant. In fact, I want to shut it down. Shut it down? How? Frankly, Doctor, I was hoping you could tell me. Well, once you get inside, shutting it down isn't too terribly complicated. But that place, it's a fortress. Even if you could get past Pitt's men, you'd still need a passkey to get in. Passkey? Do, uh... Do you have one? Not anymore. They took my key yesterday, right after they fired me. Damn it. But I'm screwed. Not necessarily. I think I know where you can get one. My associate, Kasparov, recently died of exposure near the reactor core. Pitt covered it up, of course. I watched some of Pitt's men carry his body into the city dump just down the way a couple of nights ago. They were in and out so quickly they couldn't have had time to search the body. Kasparov might still have his passkey. Great. Now all I have to do is figure out a way to get into the dump. Now there, I can help you. Oh. Huh. You keep a key to the city dump in your house? I do a lot of freelance experimentation these days. You'd be surprised the useful things you find in the dump. People throw away all kinds of good shit. What does this guy Kasparov look like? How will I find him? In answer to your first question, he'll be the one who's dead and lying in a pile of trash in the dump. In answer to your second question, unless I'm mistaken, that head you were wearing earlier used to belong to one of the local mutants. The mutants could see radiation signatures from a long way off. And Kasparov worked next to the reactor core every day. Use that head of yours, and you should be able to just follow the glow. Oh, in case I forgot, thanks for the help, Grimes. My pleasure! If you manage to take down Pitt, I can finally get out of this shithole and move someplace decent again. The boonies are a nice place to hide out. You wouldn't want to live here. Good luck.
Work, Fred. The odds of you making it back were astronomical. But I guess you didn't study astronomy. Infamous pit nuclear plant. Every bone thug, mutant, zombie, and flame lob and scarecrow in this crazy town has this place to thank for their existence. Hell, I guess I do too. I'll make that bastard pay for what he did to this town and for what he did to Vinny and Jeannie. Then if there's anything left, I'll kick his ass into the next millennium for what he did to me. Who knows? Jeannie might still be alive, and if so, I can get my head back from pit and Jeannie and I can go on with our lives together. Just hope all my bits and pieces still work when I'm done playing around in this radioactive cesspool. I've never seen you before. Newbie, huh? It's my first day. I'm very excited to be here. Go on in, pal. Good luck. You're gonna need it.
popular demand, the cafeteria special today is Mutant Rooster Gachatori! Yes. Toodles. Okay. Yes, thanks to you, but I think that's the last time I'll have the chicken for lunch. Yeah, can't say as I blame you. You folks might want to get out of here, though. I got a feeling that a few cantankerous cocks are going to be the least of the troubles around this place today. Wait, you need to be careful. There are security cameras everywhere. Cameras? Marvelous. Anything else I need to know? Here, take this. It's the security key for the elevator down the hall. You won't get anywhere without it. Oh, thanks. Now go. You don't want to be around here when the defecation hits the oscillation. And believe me, the blades are already turning. Some help. Bye bye. Congratulations, employees. It's been eleven. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. And I thought the prison showers were dangerous. You're telling me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hey, you wouldn't by chance have the pass key to the elevator on this floor, would you? Yeah, but come on. I think I'm about to get my two minutes notice. You go ahead and wait for me at the elevator. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Not a problem, pal. Now we're even. Watch your fingers and toes! That's the pit that corporate. 
What do you need, pal? locked. Hey, pal. You know any way to get through the rest of this floor? Everything's locked. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, right. You need help, pal? Oh, gee, I don't know. What makes you ask? Oh, kindly can the attitude, will you there, Pops? I'm on the case. But if I help you out, you gotta return the favor. Why don't you get me out first? Then we'll talk.
Well, what do you know? You got me out! I didn't think you had it in you! Look, I've had about enough of your lip. You might want to get out of here anyway. Things are about to get messy, and you don't want any part of it. I've been locked in a cage most of the day. You think I want to stick around? I'm leaving, but before I do, here. What are these for? One of them is the key to the animal lab. That's what you need to get to the other sections of this floor. Uh-huh. Excellent. And the other one? That's the key to my office downstairs. I've been doing some research that you might find interesting. You see, there are these mutant roosters. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with those. What about them? I've been looking into what makes them tick. I got one of their eggs down there. If you're interested in taking a look, uh, I don't need it anymore at any rate. I'm through with this place. Palm Springs, here I come. I was wondering when I'd run into you. Of course, I was kinda hoping you'd have the guts to show up in person so I could rip off that misshapen arm of yours and shove it up your ass. Oh, oh, you talk pretty tough for a guy I already killed once. That was a lot of fun, by the way. I can't wait to do it again. Here's a novel idea, fuckface. Why don't you come down and try it again? Come down? I don't need to waste my time. This is a state-of-the-art facility, Newman. I can take care of you with the press of a button. <laughs> See you around, peckerhead! Count on it. <laughs> Oh! 
Looks like your boss is cockless now, Lefty. Thanks to you. And I'm still in one piece. I'd be disappointed if you weren't, to tell you the truth. Because I got bigger plans for you, Newman. Really? Well, why don't you come down to the lab and tell me about them, numbnuts? I got a better idea. Why don't you come and find me? Do 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 hide and seek. Fuck you. Enjoy your tour of the plant. I'll be seeing you soon.
alarm shutdown sequence activated. There better be a good reason for this. Doc, that son of a bitch is winding down right now. Uh oh, what does that mean? Let me hear. What's happening, Doc? That alarm means that the reactor is coming back online. Someone must have bypassed the main controls at the auxiliary junction. I'll tell you what would be a tremendous help, Doc. If you could do that in English, it'd be great. It means that the reactor has been restarted, but it isn't getting any cooler. Tell me what to do. The first thing you need to do is get back to the coolant room and find the reactor core pipe. You can get directly to the reactor core from there. All right, Doc. Will do. And hurry, Fred. the shoot them in the back, cut off their head, and throw them in the waste dump type? You're a funny guy, Newman. Probably the funniest I ever had the pleasure of killing. And now, lucky me, I get to do it again. So joke all your mind. Your next wise-ass remark is gonna be your last. Well, I'll keep that in mind, and I'll make sure it's a witty one. I've had enough of you. You're a dead man. So they keep telling me. Finger. 
Nothing compared to the damage I'm gonna cause when I catch up with that son of a bitch pit.
talking to me? Hey, Sam. Got some... I've got something for you, Fred. I'm sure I'll see you again. <laughs>
Thanks, Fred. You're helping out the whole community. Worked, thanks to my ingenious plan.
right, Ugly? How about we call it quits now? Ulysses Pitt was born and raised in Jersey City, New Jersey, where he began his climb to fame and fortune at an early age. Known in grammar school as the Lunch Money Kid, Ulysses quickly rose to a position of great respect among his peers and invested his growing financial resources in a number of small enterprises, including a booming retail business among the faculty. After years of proving his skills under the tutelage of the Rossini family, Ulysses took over the entire Jersey City operation with the blessings of retiring patriarch Vinnie Rossini. Rossini relocated to the quiet town of Hope Falls, and Ulysses Pitt's personal magnetism and business savvy drove the success of the organization to new highs all over the eastern seaboard. Wise beyond his years, Ulysses soon decided that school was not for him. Hitting the streets at the age of 16, Ulysses found a number of like-minded young entrepreneurs and began a lucrative career in such worthy pursuits as offering personal loans to high-risk clients and protection of local businesses from the unsavory element that roamed the streets. Ulysses and his associates caught the attention of the powerful Rossini family, who took the group in and allowed them to expand into gambling parlors and men's entertainment establishments. And so, starting with the opening of the state-of-the-art Pitt nuclear power plant, Ulysses set out to create a paradise with which he, the town of Hope Falls, and the state of New Jersey would be forever associated. Recreation, luxurious casino gambling, increased industry, and massive infrastructure improvements over the next several years will put Hope Falls on the map and turn the residents of this once backwater town into the kind of people that fit right into the dreams envisioned as only one man can envision them. The man, the myth, the legend, Ulysses S. Pitt. This ain't good. messier than a busted commode after a three-day bachelor party. He had it coming. They all have it coming.
That'll get you banned in Germany. Bloodier than... Bloodier than... Ah, oh, fuck it. Make your own analogy. I haven't seen carnage like that since... I don't think I've ever seen carnage like that. Here I thought they smelled bad on the outside.
Hey, Sam. Hello, friend. <laughs> Quitting while you're ahead, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Very good.
bitch, turn over. Been an engineer. Up, top floor penthouse. Hardware, ladies lingerie, and one twisted son of a bitch of a mob boss. <laughs> what the? Well, well, well. If it isn't the private dick who's been sticking his lack of head in my business. You are indeed an observant fellow, Fred. A real testament to private investigators everywhere, I'm sure. A true dick among dicks. Well, I managed to track down your sorry ass, didn't I? Track me down, he says. My name is on the front of the damn building. Anyone with two eyes could track me down. It ain't like I'm hiding. Oh, yeah? Well, that'll just make it easier for the cops to find you. When they see the videotape of what you did to Vinny, you're gonna spend the rest of your life swapping spit and other bodily fluids with a big con named Bubba down in Leavenworth. Oh, I don't think it'll come to that, my jar-headed friend. Ain't nobody gonna see that tape. Oh, yeah? Well, you just try and stop me. Okay. Goodbye, Newman. Nice of you to drop in. <laughs> oh shit. gonna be smoking that thing through a breathing tube. Yeah? Well, I ain't worried about that, doll. He's not just gonna sit still and let you run this town into the ground. He's gonna take you down, Pitt. You and your whole twisted organization. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I told you. I must have slipped my mind. What with all the details of running my twisted organization? Uh, your boyfriend with the jar for a head? He's currently decorating the bottom of my elevator shaft. Something in a blood red, with a chunky texture treatment, I should imagine. You monster! Well, what are you standing there for? I want to see what's left of the dick's body. What? The dick is still twitching? See? I told you. You're going down, Pitt. Shut up, bitch! Or I'll do you right now, I swear to God! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Yeah. This is Pitt. The dick is still alive. Yeah, that's right, alive! On the outside of the damn building, that's where... It, it looks like the, the ledge on the 13th floor. Yes, I want you to get the bastard! Get him now! And somebody find out where the hell left he is. I need his ass here pronto. Hope you've got a will, Pitt. You're a dead man. Dude! 
If there's one thing I hate, it's a broad that talks too much.
Where is he? Where the hell is he? Making just the kind of stupid, sentimental mistake I was counting on. Actually, I came here to kill you, Pitt. You've done quite a bit of damage tonight. My boys tell me the nuclear plant is toast and that you wasted poor Lefty. A lot of damage, but not irreparable. Not if it all stops here. What in the fuck makes you think I'm gonna stop? I was wondering what I should do with this. I was thinking of throwing it off. Then I thought, maybe I should talk to you, reason things out. I got something you want, your think box here. You got something I want. That videotape. And here I'm thinking, maybe you might be a reasonable guy. You give me the tape, stop messing around in my shit, and get your ass out of Hope Falls. And I'll give you your head back. Hell, I'll even throw in that Rossini bitch for good measure. She gives me a friggin' headache. So what do you say, Fred? We got ourselves a deal? Or what? Chatting with you. Ha ha ha! Ah yeah, yeah. I keep laughing, Pitt, you motherfucker, because after I rest for a minute, I'm gonna climb up there and I'm gonna impale your ass on that antenna. Thank <laughs> you. 
monster, nice monster! You let go and fall! No, let go! Let go! Damn it, Lefty! Let go of the fucking sign! Genie, are you all... Mm -hmm. uh, ouch! Damn it. I'll never get used to that. Well, maybe you shouldn't hit me. How about that? What's your problem, anyway? You're all right, aren't you? Yeah. No thanks to you. Anyway, you don't have to worry. This jar is going to be history in no time flat. Doc Steiner said he can fix me up. I just need to get my head and we're... Oh, shit! Freddy... Baby, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. I want to make sure that bastard Pitt is pushing up daisies. Oh, my leg! Oh, God, I think my leg is broken. No! No, you don't! Put me down first, damn it! You put me on the friggin' ground right now! I can't believe it. That son of a bitch actually survived? That's just as well. Falling off a skyscraper wasn't good enough for a piece of shit like him. He deserves worse. Way worse. Yeah, that ought to do it. Well, lady, what, uh, what would you say to a drink and maybe some dinner? I'd say, lead the way, mister. You took Pitt down, just like you said you would. Yeah, Genie, I did. But, uh, in all fairness, the monster helped a little. Either way, Pitt's finally out of the picture. That power plant of his is shut down forever, and Steiner and Grimes are dismantling it right now. You and Benny have reopened the PI office, and the cops have rounded up most of the freaks and other creatures. Don't know what they're going to do with them, though. Steiner thinks we should feed them to Goonzilla, if he ever gets over that sick feeling in the pit of his stomach. And I've got my Freddy back. Bad puns and all. <sighs> Everything's back to normal. Not quite everything. Oh, Freddy. A couple more seconds, and I would have had it back. But no. No. Now I'm stuck with this damn jar head for the rest of my life. You could go look for it, you know? Nah, it's no use. My real head is long gone. I gotta face it, so to speak. I'm a freak. Oh, I don't think it's so bad. It kind of grows on you after a while. Yeah? You really think a dame could learn to love a guy with a jug? For a mug? Why don't you shut up and kiss me, Fred Newman? Was it good for you, doll? I was out of my head with ecstasy. <laughs> Good evening, Hope Falls. I'm here live with Fred Newman, the, uh, I'm sorry, what do people in your profession like to be called? A private investigator? P.I.? I don't much care, as long as you don't make some wisecrack about the head. Last bastard who interviewed me insisted on calling me head investigator. 
I had to kick his ass. I hate that shit. Okay, so what do you prefer? Listen, pal, honest to Christ, you can call me whatever the fuck you want as long as you get on with this interview. I'm kind of busy. I was trying to read the goddamn credits till you came along. Well, many are calling you the savior of Hope Falls. Yeah, I know. It's kind of embarrassing, truth be told. I mean, hey, I was just doing my job and... Yeah, but some are also saying that things are worse now than they were before you toppled Boss Pit. Uh, for instance, power has been out in Hope Falls ever since you shut down the nuclear plant, and that's made a lot of citizens rather angry. Well, of course, those citizens can kiss my hairy... And I meant it. If there's no power, how is anybody seeing this interview? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, as the hero of Hope Falls, uh, many of our children look up to you. Any words of encouragement or advice? Sure, sure. <clears throat> Listen up, kids. If you want to be like me, you got to start by dying. That's right. I'm telling you to drop dead. And I especially mean you, little shit who got me killed 15 fucking times on level 6. Yeah, you know exactly who the fuck you are. Ah, uh, yes, well, inspiring words indeed. So, uh, what have you been doing to keep busy now that the pit case is closed? Well, the PI office has been doing better than ever. Plus, I've had a couple of offers acting, mostly, but I'm picky about my roles. Don't want to be typecast as the hard-boiled detective all my life. No, no, certainly not. You need to show your range. Uh, what kind of parts do you want to play? Well... Full disclosure, I just auditioned for a doctor role in this hospital show. It's comedy. I've always loved the medical comedy genre. To me, nothing says funny like sick people. There's this one sitcom that I love that has this hilarious character named Dr. Cop. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we're just about out of time, Mr. Newman. I want to thank you for the interview. It really was amazing and wonderful to get some <laughs> face time with you. <laughs> okay, Aslick, that does it. I'm gonna need that! I don't! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What the hell do you want? Hello. Can I interest you in a tinfoil hat? Well, looky that. Uh, let's call this.